Hey guys, finally back on my scary story channel after two months of not uploading to read y'all like probably three scary stories that has to do with the new year. So yeah, roll the intro and let's get this on. We're gonna do them out of order. We're probably gonna read like nine, the first one, and probably four or whatever. So this one is called the zombie that came rolling in. Another person claimed that the not quite. Another person claimed that the not quite human creature they and their friend encountered one New Year's Eve was real. That that's when we saw it. Something that looked like a naked person, but wasn't quite human, waddled down the street towards us. It moved as though it was half squatting, and because of this, it, its hands dragged along the ground as they hung limp at its side, he claimed. The entry of a zombie appeared before them, photo credit, whoever. I couldn't make out its face and my friend Max told me later that he couldn't either. It was also making a throatly rolling noise as if it was almost choking on something. The author and Max did the only sensible thing, they got the heck out of there. Okay, that's story number nine, but this is one in the video. You know. The spectacular party crasher. Have you ever gotten the feeling that you're not alone, even when you are? According to the website, Wattpad had a unwelcome guest on New Year's Eve. She could hear it, but not see. The trouble began when things began began disappointing. The woman and her boyfriend kept losing items they were using only to have them appear. They kept losing items they were using only to have them reappear a few minutes later. Later in the evening, later in the evening, a strange man's voice joined the conversation yelling right in response to a comment one of the guests made. Eventually every guest heard an invisible person coughing in the bathroom, even though there was no one there. There's where the photos from. The strange activity stopped the next day, so perhaps this ghost just really likes to join in the New Year's Eve festivals. No matter where you are, keep the keep your guard up and stay alert. Remember, Phantoms like to celebrate as well. Okay, number three is called the Phantom of the Inn. The Inn of Main Street. By the way, there's where the photo's from. The Main Street. The Inn on Main Street, bed and breakfast, located in Weaverville, North Carolina, is indeed very spirited on New Year's Eve. Although the innkeepers of his heroic bed and breakfast of this heroic historic bed and breakfast will not admit, admit it's haunted. There's no denying the tales told by guests or staff verifying the house's special activity. Phantoms lurk in the spaces and mysteriously they have a special performance for making an appearance on New Year's Eve. Strangely, on New Year's Eve, guests frequently hear, hear pictures fall off the wall multiple times, never finding physical evidence of them actually falling. Is this a resistible haunting or just too much celebrity campaign? Champagning. If I don't know some of these words, I apologize. You can read them. In addition, many also heard Many also hear the back doors open 
and then close. Yet again, no motel is ever discovered. In, no mortal is ever discovered entering the building. The house was built 100 years ago by a doctor. The innkeepers know of at least one person has died in the house. A blood stain remains under the tiles in a bathroom that was once part of his operating room in lap. The stain was never able to be removed, even with standing, sanding restoring to it being hidden with tile. Being hit with tile. Could any of these haunts have a e relevance to the celebrations of a new year? Do not ice, hesitate from staying at this inn. On the other hand, be fascinated for the opportunity. Innkeepers have been told all the energy here is good, claiming they're never they never lost a guest to the end. Ten identified phantoms, including men, women, children, Native Americans, and even a white dog. But again, they will never confirm their presence. Really, it really says. So. My next video, here's a sneak peek of it. Hey, whoa. Just read the first half. Bow to the New Year's Eve 2014 part. It's going to be a... Well, y'all see. You'll see when it's uploaded. I'm probably going to make this like... Five stories. So... This one we're going to do next. Have you ever gotten the feeling... That you're not alone, even when... Oh, wait, I already read that. Okay, we're going to read the bonus. We're going to read the bonus. The bonus. Did you know New Year's Eve originally began when the Babylons started a tradition of welcoming each of, each New Year with a massive religious festival called a corky? A corkery celebrated the myth mythical victory of the Babylon sky god Mar Marduk over the evil sea goddess Tiamat. New Year's Eve activities have certainly evolved since then and today the holiday is best known as a time to reflect over the previous year while also setting intentions for the year ahead. Keep, keep it all in good light even though this holiday was introduced into history with the slaying of monsters and other strange things. New Year's Eve is a night of massive celebrations when expectations are high. Drinks are flowing and everyone is out to have a good time, including phantoms around you. Okay guys, so let's go back to the bigger camera. And that's all for this video, guys. I promise the next story will be a, like, separate story. And it's going to be a sequel to one of my other videos. That's all I'm going to say. You've seen half of it. I told y'all wait till the New Year's Eve 2014 part. So y'all might or might not guess what it is. But that video might come on the 14th. Or heck, since I haven't uploaded in two months, I might drop it in two days. So, yeah. I'll see you then. Bye.